Well, the way we got started was um, in the, actually in the, in the world of uh, developmental disabilities. We were looking for alternative ways to help folks that had challenging behavior without having to put our hands on them. And we came across this material called Trauma-Informed Care through Washington, and then we s sort of hooked up with people from Florida, Robin and Andy. I started noticing that although we have so many community issues and challenges, the numbers of the people involved in, in crisis situations, whether domestic violence or child abuse, the numbers kept going up. So I didn't understand what that disconnect was, why we weren't having a really profound effect. And then I learned about adverse childhood experiences and the understanding that unaddressed childhood trauma plays out over the course of a lifetime. And it comes out either in a personal way, as physical health issues, in family, as family issues, domestic violence and so forth, but also in community. So what we do is offer free training uh, to educate people about trauma. It's a complicated issue, but it affects everyone. So what we try to do is bring all those communities together so that we can talk about healing and talk about um, just be together and talk about healing and resiliency. That's what resiliency is, is, is healing.